Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Well. This week we have a particular focus on community. I love the fact that we are called to live side by side and to walk out the Christian life in community, to take adventures with God and for God together. And it's really through learning to live in community that we learn to follow God and to be transformed by him. There's nothing like learning to love well and to bear with one another and to forgive and not to judge, etc., to shape us internally. I love today's reading of where we have come to, Colossians 3, which is such a helpful scripture for those of us learning to walk this out, life out. Since God chose you to be holy people, he loves you must close yourself with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you so you must forgive others. Above all, clothe yourselves with love which binds us all together in perfect harmony. I think over the course of my life, which what has really helped me learn to live well in community is the message of the Father's love, what it means to be deeply loved by him, that we can afford to love others really well, we can afford to be gracious, and we can afford to see with the Father's eyes. John 5 verse 19 to 20, Jesus says, I only do what I see the Father doing. He was walking in such friendship with his Father. I think sometimes as we struggle with maybe where people are at or how they treat us or how they've offended us, etc., it's a great starting point to stop and ask the Father how he sees them. Humility, kindness, generosity, forgiveness, sometimes they don't come naturally to us. But as we learn to connect with our Heavenly Father, he shows us how he sees each one of us. And it's when we catch his heart for people where he's calling them to, the best they can be, his future for them, not maybe where they're currently at, we can learn to above all else walk in love.